Hello there, I'm Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Sunday, September the 12th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. Hello, Scorpio. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you. I hope that you know you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate for every Scorpio out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot, even though I do say he and she. Cut in the deck for Scorpio. Spirit. The Queen of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Queen of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. If you do not bring the clear Queen of Swords honest, clear communication, she will take her sword and she will cut you right out of her life. Queen of Swords makes head over hard decisions. She is independent. She can take care of herself. She is the Ice Queen. What is crossing this? The moon. This is Pisces energy. This talks about secrets, deceptions, masks, and them slowly coming to the surface. What is consciously known? The five of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy. Five of pentacles talks about freezing someone out, leaving someone out in the cold. Either you have left someone out in the cold, or someone has left you out in the cold. Considering there's lies, and if you're the Queen of Swords, I feel like it's you cutting someone out of your life. Unconscious. The Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is also an independent person. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Nine of Pentacles is ground and balance stable, a business person, makes her own money, takes care of her money, uh, independent, single because she wants to be single, independent. Recent past, the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, this is the fantasy card, Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Seven of Cups talks about having options in love. Um, you might be entertaining a few different people, deciding who you like. Options in love. Near future, the world. The world. The world is the end of a cycle. Could be the end of a karmic cycle. Um, after the world, we go back to the fool, which is a beautiful new cycle. So this is the end of a cycle, possibly the end of a karmic cycle, especially if you are freezing someone out. And we've got two strong, independent people right here, or two de independent energies. Where do you find yourself? The strength card, Leo energy. Strength card talks about uh, taming the beast inside. Talks about having the strength to move three things, even though they may be difficult. So ending a cycle. The strength. Leo energy, did I say? External influences. The hanged man. The hangman. The hangman talks about spirituality, meditation. Um, it's on the hangman tree. Head is literally split from the body. Uh, the hangman talks about being caught between a rock and a hard place. Dark night of the soul. And looking at things from a different perspective. Another Pisces card. 
hopes and or fears. The seven of swords, seven of swords. You are um, afraid of someone taking advantage of you. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the seven of swords. This is somebody that's sneaky. This person lies, cheats, steals. Uh, this is a toxic person, a narcissist, most likely with addiction issues, sex, drugs, alcohol. The seven of swords. If this, I, if this person is in your life, um, you should cut them out immediately. Overall outcome, out, overall outcome, I should say. The four of swords. Yeah, the four of swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Four of swords talks about taking a break, having some time to yourself, rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. See the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Three of Cups. This person is sad, um, dejected, um, not bro kind of brokenhearted, not looking for love. The three cups are spilled in front of him, but there is the one cup behind him, which is the, the self-love cup. There's always a cup source is trying to give you, especially loving yourself and knowing you deserve the best. Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, independent. People who can uh, take care of their self and are independent because they're looking for something to someone to complement their life. Six of Cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. These six of cups, this talks about friendship, puppy love, nostalgia, uh, looking back to a time where things were better or sweeter. Um, but just don't um, look at thing, things through uh, rose-colored glasses and try and remember things that were, that were not as great as you remember them. Knight of Swords, the Ice Knight. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Like the King and Queen, the Knight of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. But the Knight of Swords, he's a more, um, a younger energy, a more immature energy. And the Knight of Swords uh, can be pretty blunt. Um, gives you the truth and probably not abrasive. Gives you the truth in not the nicest way, and he can uh, rush in and out of your life. Kind of in and out energy. Ace of Cups, new love. Cups are water energy, Cat Spicy Scorpio. Aces are all about new. See the cup? Hearts for eyes, upside down heart for nose, a dragonfly. New love, new love. This cycle that you're going through is coming to an end and we have new love over here five of cups uh, the river of tears sadness depression pessimism um, you again focusing on the three cups the heartbreak and the two cups of love are on the other side cups are water and you can't space scorpio Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Four Swords. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you a romance. And, bottom of the deck. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So when we started off, we had the Ice Queen, independent. Nine of Pentacles, independent. We had some secrets coming to the surface. You, it was you. You froze someone out. 
Alright, you have the strength. Go on and find uh, something. Have the strength to get through this uh, cycle. Um, I think you were dealing with a sneaky person, and that's why you are uh, taking time out, meditating, rest, relaxation, recuperation, and yeah. You're sad, you're focusing on heartbreak, but do not let this person back into your life because you um, are remembering things better than they were. This is a sneaky person. They're not trustworthy at all. And when you let this go, this is when new love comes in. So you got new love coming. Stay optimistic about your love life. Calling in your soulmate. And you take care of yourself. And be independent until this real love comes in. Alright, Scorpio. I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you on Tuesday. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye for now.